All right, so this is a suggestion via donation. The name of the song, the video, all right, uh, is uh, Cuban Coffee Almost uh, Extinguished My Life by Gabriel Iglesias. Uh, guys, listen, if you guys are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content, okay? Let's check this out, guys. Oh, my God, thank you, guys. <laughs> you guys are all standing. No pressure. No pressure. Mm -hmm. We're having fun, you guys. We are here coming to you from South Florida. <sighs> Heck yeah, man, really close. Uh, I gotta ask a question since we're here. I just wanna know, uh, how many Latinos in the crowd tonight? Wait, hold on. Where did you say you were, bro? Now, notice I asked Latinos. I wasn't very specific. Not really. Because if you call a Latino the wrong one, there's an issue. You call a Mexican, a Salvadorian, we get mad. You call a Puerto Rican, a Dominican, they get mad. You call a Cuban, anything. Oh, yeah, bro. Republica Dominicana for the win. All right. Let's get it. Again, a Salvadorian, we get mad. You call a Puerto Rican, a Dominican, they get mad. You call a Cuban, anything but a Cuban, you're going to get stabbed. Most likely, bro. Most likely. So for everyone here and everyone at home, I have found a way to figure out who's who. Oh, really? It's very easy. Okay, let's go. All it. you have to do is listen to the way the person is speaking Spanish. You don't I thought that was an easy one, bro. You have to understand a single word, just listen to the flow. The That'll movie. let you know. For example, Mexicans, when we speak Spanish, we sound high. <laughs> Seriously, you ask us a question, we drag it out. Hey, bro, how's it going? Pues aquí no más, hombre. You know, Cubans, I found out Cubans, you guys speak Spanish, like everything means something. It's very mm. serious. Oh, yeah. You ask a Cuban a question, bro, where are you going? Al baño, coño, carajo, why you wanna know? <laughs> He's not I'm lying. Asking, dude. <laughs> it's like, why is he yelling? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and I found out Puerto Ricans, you guys speak Spanish like there's a time limit. Ask a question, hey bro, what's up? I mean, my bro, the day I was with me, I was talking about the I don't know what's going on, I don't know what's going on. Even Mexicans were like, hey, write that down. <laughs> Quick, another way is the beverage. The beverage will let you know who you're dealing with. For example, a Mexican's preferred drink of choice is tequila, okay? A Puerto Rican's preferred drink of choice is either Don Cu or Coquito. Right? And a Cuban's preferred drink of choice is coffee. <laughs> now let me tell you how I know about this one. I definitely want to point out to you guys before we, even, before we continue this, guys. Coffee is the grossest thing that has ever existed on this planet. Now let's continue. So a few years ago, so Martin and I were doing a show at if the you improv didn't know. in Miami. And after the show was <laughs> over, I was talking to Martin. I said, hey, bro, so we got to try out some of this Cuban food everybody's been talking about. It's our first time here. And so we go outside to catch a cab. And when we got in the car, uh, I figured something out. And that is that uh, Cubans come in every color of the rainbow. Oh, uh, yeah? Cubans and Puerto Ricans. You go from really, really white all the way to freaking navy black, just hardcore. <laughs> Wesley Snipes, just dark school on the El Negro! Yeah. Hardcore, you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't know that there was such a thing as a black Cuban, because we get in the car, and we're speaking Spanish, and this guy... What? <laughs> guy turns around, and he's black, and he's like, Donde quieren ir? Where you wanna go? I'm like, oh my God! <laughs> it freaked me out. I thought the partition was tinted. <laughs> I didn't know. So he's yelling at it. Donde quiere ir? I'm like, dude, uh, why is he yelling? <laughs> I said, listen, we, uh, we want to go somewhere to get some authentic Cuban food. Where can we go? And then he takes us to this place called Calle Ocho, which for everyone at home, Calle Ocho is uh, Spanish for 8th Street. And it's an area where, you know, it's very authentic. And um, he takes us to this restaurant called La Carreta. Okay. <laughs> So uh, you can't miss it. There's a restaurant on the corner with a giant wagon wheel in front of it and a huge rooster. I don't know what the rooster does, but look out for him. <laughs> we walk inside and I think, what was it, Martin? Like two or three o'clock in the morning when we went in? Easy three in the morning. Easy three o'clock in the morning. We sit down at this table and we're looking at the menu. We're trying to figure it out. And there's all kinds of bananas and all kinds of weird stuff that I'm like, I didn't know that. Sir. Okay, bananas, fine. Okay, let's do this. Um, <laughs> 
And here comes the waiter, and the waiter's coming over, and he gets in my face, and he's like, ¿Qué tú quieres? And I'm like, I forgot. <laughs> Why is he yelling? I don't know. I said, listen, bro, I'll tell you what. Um, let me look at this menu a little bit longer. I think we need some time, right? Yeah, we were like, yeah, we need some more time. Yeah. And I says, uh, for right now, can I just get a coffee? And he's like, oh, okay, un cafecito. And he walks into the kitchen. He comes back five minutes later, seriously, with a little coaster and a shot glass of coffee yep. on the coaster. And he puts it down in front of me, and he's like, okay. And I'm like, what is this? Es un cafecito. I go, dude, look at me. I'm not a ito. I'm a ande. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Listen, this is the thing here. Now, please be fully aware. I hate coffee. I don't understand coffee culture, right? But, like, I've lived in Spain for the last six years, okay? Um, I don't know what it is about, like, like Spain and, like, even, even Cubans in Spain, for example, right? These little ass cups of, of, of coffee. Apparently, it's like a concentrated, like, like rocket fuel or something. It's like, it's like... It's the drink you want if you are a coffee drinker, right? Um, and I find it disgusting, guys, right? But hey, if, if you like it, you like it. You know, nothing's wrong with you, potentially. But, um, you know, <laughs> I'm sure he's about to experience that exact thing. I go, dude, look at me. I'm not a Ito. <clears throat> I'm a Ande. And then I started thinking, maybe he knows who I am. I get the joke. Bring the really big guy, the really little cup. Nah, you know bro. what I mean? That's all you need. And I said, bro, what is it? I go, no, 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 no. I'll bring me a full-size cup of coffee. Take this back. In the I was frustrated. You don't want that. So the guy's like, okay. And what you want? Okay. So he grabs it all pissed off. And then he goes in the kitchen and he starts talking trash to one of the cooks. He's like, Manolo. And then he comes back with a bowl of Cuban coffee, okay? <laughs> and he puts it down in front of me you and he that. won't leave the table. He's like, okay, and I'm like, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it, he wants me to make sure this is what I want, you oh, know, yeah. what I want right? Oh, yeah. So I pick up the you bowl and I take a little sip of it and when the coffee hit my tongue, I was like, oh my God, this is the most concentrated coffee I've ever had. Yeah. It was really, really strong and then it clicked. That's why they bring you a little shot glass of this stuff. So now I don't want to look stupid making him take a bowl of coffee back in the kitchen. You drink so I shit. picked it up to my face Heart again and I drank and all the whole thing. <laughs> well done. I knew I messed up, bro. I knew I messed up because a waiter looked at me and he's like, vaya con Dios. Oh, you're done, bro. He goes back in the this kitchen, man, he's like, my dog! This, this man blessed him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes go by, you guys. I am so wired. That coffee is strong. That is the only way in the world Cubans can make that swim. <laughs> That's not funny, but it's funny. <laughs> guys, listen. Amazing. No complaints, guys. Listen, um... <laughs> Cuban coffee almost extinguished my life. All right, guys. Um, this is dope. No complaints, guys. Um, like my wife is like a like a crazy coffee drinker, bro. Right, and I I don't understand it. I don't get it. I know she likes um, uh, Jamaican coffee, right? And um, she does have uh, some Cuban coffee, but I know for a fact that the the Jamaican coffee is kind of, you know scary apparently right but either way guys um let me know in the comments on the next thing from him i should be listening to right and I will, I will get to that as soon as i possibly can a lot of you guys keep suggesting um like fluffy goes to india guys that is 30 minutes long all right <laughs> if we do it it's gonna have to be like split up into two parts or something guys that's a bit much um you know to do right but um listen yeah just let me know and um i'll get to that as soon as i can and uh, you guys all have an amazing day all right enjoy it Thank you.